Collins team spotted a gap and it was a 4-2 to two look at three jerseys there. He needed a draw and give. Nigel Davis gave there, but I think he didn't quite bring Bridges in halfway through a gap. There's where he put a lovely floating pass, but the right wing knocked it on, number 14 Evans. David Fox, this time, fine stop, see it beautifully done. Again, good combination, this better angle from Simon Davis, straight into Phil Pugh. And Phil Pugh is injured as well. Whilst Simon Davis still stands there. The other side, perhaps, is the greatest space. But that so well manufactured by Stevens. Thorburn, in no great hurry, though. And that's beautifully done, so coolly done by the fullback. Great play by the fullback. We thought he was the kicker on his right, took all the time in the world, and found a good left footed 40 yard kick into touch. And Copsey going up, it's a jungle out there in the line, and it's tap back. Moon does very well, Athletic keeping it tight, playing the strength, and out to Simon Davis on the charge. Probably the strongest centre in Wales, bang, what a thud. Knocks Phil Pew flat, but great tackling also by number six. Andrew Thomas, having dis departed, sees Kevin Phillips coming on as substitute hooker. The man has ruled the middle of the line today, Anthony Copsey. Out by Mark Perigo, denied by Neath. So quickly through was Perigo, brilliantly done. This is better from Sinesi. The charge is on, the layback there. Rupert Moon, is he over? Just a fraction short, supporting his Fox. Rather isolated for the moment. It's there for Sinesi. Still Moon burrowing his way, but denied the last vital yard. And it's the 50-50 ball that wins you cup ties. And Mark Perigo laid his body on the line there. Dive, got the ball, tremendous guts up, drove towards the line, which gave Rupert Moon the chance. Sinesi might be tempted at a front of the line peel here. Pew does so well to claim that at the tail. Sinesi foolishly then yield a penalty when they held all the aces. Not wasting any time, Paul Thorburn clears. Yeah, Evans and he Williams, the drop kick at goal from Williams. That is beautifully struck. That's amazing. What a kick from Williams. Brilliantly done. And just look at the delight of fellow players. Paul Thorburn takes the penalty. So go in. Fades back out. Yain Evans did very well. Now give me Williams credit. He sized it up. He didn't panic. And he stroked through the ball. The wind did the rest. But he struck it beautifully straight between the posts. And what a great kick for 15, Williams and Sanessi. Neath up against it. Rick Evans stands his ground. Anywhere downfield is good enough for Sanessi at this point in time with Yain Evans at full tilt, putting pressure on Thorburn. Well done by Thorburn. It's still in play though. Ricky Evans. <laughs> Neath was standing in an offside position and they'll be penalised for that. And from there, surely Colin Stevens will take a kick at goal. Good kick by Tlenethi and Paul Thorburn does well because Yair Nevis comes up here. He slipped the number 14. And Thorburn's in trouble. Beats a man, but he's got no angle, so he has to hack it in. Good following up by Lynn Jones. The ball comes out here, Ricky Evans knocks it on, but there's where Mr. Davis says that Neath hadn't let the man go 10 yards, penalty for offside. This coming so quickly, following that drop goal from Hill Williams, surely would kill things off for Tlenesi. That's coming back so nicely, so swiftly, brilliantly done, and that surely is good night to Neath's hopes in this year's Schweppes Cup competition. Suddenly, Tlenesi just stride ahead <laughs> Yeah, Evans might come from deep here with Moon offered just a little space it's on its way the switch from Delaney pick up from Stevens the drop goal the second drop goal for Sinetti and again the Scarlet fans here delirious they know that the present holders go through to the next Round. Number three, Delaney, come in late, could have died with the ball, not the greatest pass in the world, but Stevens picked it up brilliantly, struck it well, there it is, again, right between the posts, great drop goal by the outside half. Problems for Phil Pugh. Obviously, he'll take no further part in the game. 
this time not quite the uh, disgrace of previous departures here at Strally Park. This time an injury takes him off, replaced by Kevin Fox. The slightly 10 meter line. Williams and Bridges combine. That's a fortunate bounce from McCarthy. Still on, it wasn't knocked forward as Ball makes headway. Well covered by Nigel Davis though. The ball still in play. If Neath can claim it, the ball nudged forward though. McCarthy gets the ball, he sees the Scarlet's up very flat. Fortunate there, but good pace by the outside half. Look at the support now. Out to Jason Ball, knocked back by Simon Davis. Jason Ball goes ever so well, but good tackling in the corner. Hurriedly, hurriedly done for the half backs. Yeah! Kept in play by Paul Thorburn. This is interesting. So Steve Williams able to release the ball. This is good attacking work by Kevin Fox. Neath at last put a movement together. The former captain Kevin Phillips next in line. On its way to Bridges. The space is the other side. Finally released. Again Fox tries to make headway. It's all on the retreat at the moment. Kaleshi guard either side well. This time hands on the ground. <laughs> Penalty against the prop forward, Laura Stellini. Trying to come Kevin Phillips, Brian Williams, John Davis next in line. There for Steve Williams this time. Pass a point there for Lady, but Barkley shows elusive feet. Fox again, he's been prominent since he's come on. The chance for Kevin Phillips to drive on. This is better for Neath. Suddenly they have a head of steam, suddenly they're getting things together. No sign of the ball as yet, and the delay, crucial. That's much better, like the old knee side we knew a couple of seasons ago, and it's interesting that Kevin Phillips very much in the van of the movements. Kevin Phillips joins the fray. Inspiration coming from him, having come on as a substitute hooker. Tremendous position this for Neath as they lose. A loose head, can actually claim a tight head. And Moon and Stevens coolly. And Stevens is taken late by Kevin Fox. And that would upset the Tanetti fans. The call from the crowd is off. Whether it was that serious, we'll have to wait and see. He's only just come on the field as Kevin Fox. And I'm sure his name is taken. And it could well be the Kevin Fox. Having been only in play for a few minutes, is off. The finger pointed, and what a sad departure. And ironic that he follows Phil Pugh into the changing room, having come on as a substitute. And Pugh having suffered the same fate. I must admit, I follow the ball. Let's watch very carefully. Stevens a lot of time, puts it there. Oh, yes, he took him late, and he was seconds after the ball. First of all, they to be very disappointed at a ball against the head. Great news for Nettie. Stevens go back into position to give himself a good angle. There's Fox, though, the number in his back. Strikes it beautifully. Oh, yes, he took him late, took the out and half's head and hurt him in the, in the midriff. Neath have lost all discipline. Uh, not looking the outfit they were last season. Quickly delivered, Julian Williams, the support running of Stevens, the chip for Evans to chase, but well guarded. Oh, yes, Evans, well! That's amazing defending by Neath. How could they, with three of them there, poised to cover the ball, allow Yeon Evans to sneak in and further punish them? He really is turning into a nightmare for the Welsh All Blacks. And I thought there'd be a back room move on here. Good pass, out to Stevens. He sees there's nothing on, a delicate chip, but what about the defending? Barkley's there, Leighty's there, Morris, and I think there's no communication left it to themselves. Great opportunism for number 14, Yayan Evans. You have to play with pride right at the end of the game. It's a beautiful, lovely, delicate chip, nicely weighted, but surely the all-black defence should be back there. Barkley left, Yayan Evans get the better of him, and there he's over. Great try for the captain of Wales. A hopeless task facing Paul Thorburn as he restarts. Advantage played by Neath. Quite release it. 
Leti. That's good understanding. Ball creating the space. Thorburn can set up. Bowling here. Again, Saneshi back in strength. And the hack and field from here, Williams. On, offers a lot of hope for Saneshi. Leti supported by Barkley at the moment. Here, Williams. Moon pressurizing as well. And Leti finally lets Neath breathe again. that Simon Davis has gone to outside half and notice Colin Stevens is in outside centre position. Is there a move on here? The movement off the ball will be interesting. Into midfield comes the move. Nigel Davis into acres of space. The glorious triumphant finale for Messi. Nigel Davis wraps it up. The mesmeric running off the ball of the three quarters. Opened up a huge gap. And Davis, no wonder the smile. And it was on for the very moment that Simon Davis went to fly half. Watch all the running off the ball. The knees back row, don't know where to go. Moon goes across, there's the dummy. Great angle of running, inside one man. Outside Chris Bridges' his tackle. That's an excellent try for Nigel Davis under the sticks. And what you have to remember that Neath are a back row man short. There's the shout in. There's the short flick up. Uh, and Nigel Davis then comes back on a good arcane run. Bridges misses the tackle. Steve Williams tries his very best, but you're not going to stop the determined centre going over for a well worked try. Stevens from this position can't miss. Saneshi go up to 28 points. Neath just remaining on that three. The journey home to Neath will be a sad one for those Neath supporters leaving early. Neath try and gain something out of this nightmare of theirs. Emphatically driven back in the tackle. Brian Williams, John Davis, just holds it up for a second. Slow delivery though for McCarthy. Makes it difficult for Leite, although they do well through Thorburn and Ball combining. Outside Thorburn is bowling. The inside support not quite there though, and Sineshi cover it well. That was great work by the knee backs because it was such slow ball coming back there that they went across field. Good handling and good movement in the centre by Ball and Leite. Better understanding between number eight and scrum half. It's Ball this time that eats a little gap. Indeed, does exceptionally well and will get over. Finally, need to put things together. And it's Jason Ball that brings them just a touch of respectability at the end of this game. Give these credit. They don't, they're taking a bit of a high day, but they don't throw the towel in. And for me, Jason Ball is the best grubber kicker of, of a ball in Welsh rugby. Delicate chip through, sits up for him lovely, but give him credit, he deserved that. And he now shows a bit of speed and strength, because Colin Stevens is slow, he's after the centre, but he does ever so well. That's just reward for a beautiful bit of football. Flick back by Williams, out, and there's a flatty line coming up, so there's not a great deal onto the centres to move it on, so a delicate chip, well done, out past Nigel Davis, but he took it very well. Andrew Lamerton with the throw into this line out. And it's won by Paul Jones for Neath and Rodri Jones with the little sniping run. Leite now on that narrow side with the switch of direction. Hands on to John Green. Good attacking probing this by Neath. And the ball is still live. And they're over the goal line and Gareth Simmons is right there. He spotted the uh, touchdown and Neath have scored. And it's Kevin Phillips, the captain of the day, who scored the try for his side. Drop out by Matthew McCarthy. Taken on by Brian Williams. And back with McCarthy. Now this is where he likes to initiate attacking movements onto Jason Ball. Ball with a lot of pace, got man outside. That's Chris Bridges playing in the full-back role. Bowling coming in from the right wing. Good play this by Neath and that was uh, prop John Davis up there as well and finally clear the danger Tony Copsey it's quite a battle this afternoon with uh, Paul Jones standing opposite him six foot nine this Neath player Rodri Jones with the reverse pass but it was untidy ball for Matthew McCarthy and the outside half didn't like that and finally take possession Simon Davis on to Proctor Proctor standing up Support from Moon and back inside now to Scott Quinnell. Now Quinnell 
staying on his feet, well, at least trying to. And Moon again. Well, that was great play by Finetli. Now, very good attacking position here, but uh, Neath won't want to surrender possession. Rodri Jones, McCarthy, that was dangerous, but this is now Bridges. Bridges with a burst of pace and taken down by Rupert Moon, but bowling with the pass. And Williams, Williams up to halfway line. Lovely play with McCarthy in support as well. Well, it really was at full pace, that movement by Neath from their own goal line, and the crowd appreciated it as well. And it's still alive. Neath still attacking. Leite needs to spread it wide. Jason Ball and Leite on the loop. And there's a lot of open space inside that uh, Finetli 22. What good play from Neath. Moon with the feed. One or two Neath players coming up from the scrimmage. That's Ewan Jones in possession. Ewan Jones and the try has been given. Ewan Jones, this Wrexham-born flanker, hasn't played a lot of rugby in recent seasons through injury, and he was pleased with that try. And Finetli take the lead. It was the pickup at the back, and then the back row in harness. Now he was half tackled, and Ewan Jones driving over with the help of his fellow forwards. Nine points to four, Finetli lead at half time. Now the Finetli backs have lined up very steeply here and there could be a, a switch of direction should the ball be released at the moment it's with Julian Williams on to Ewan Jones two of the back row working together Moon and it's Scott Quinnell with a backflip and Scott Quinnell has scored a try for Finetli Moon feeds again and once more it's that support and control and it's in midfield now with Yayan Evans and Yayan Evans is through he's actually collided with a post but Yayan Evans has scored a try it was the quick release this time from Rupert Moon on to Colin Stevens now Stevens just delays his pass enough now Evans wasn't really coming in at pace half held and this is Martin Morris with a tackle going in high but Evans shows his resolve and scores McCarthy and that's not going to find touch it'll be Hugh Williams inside his 22 and just steps outside for a moment and uh, well there was a notion of some attacking from Finetli but it's back now with Rodri Jones and Neath to attack now in midfield with Bridges Bridges with the 15 shirt and on to Caroline Young and Young showing his pace on that outside chased by Proctor and hauled down by the Finetli winger but picked up by Bridges good play by Bridges quick in support and so too the Neath forwards Brian Williams wearing one and Martin Morris standing off now going in Moon directing operations but it's with Rodri Jones his opposite number McCarthy and Jason Ball the men outside and Ball doesn't need them Jason Ball has sliced through for the try it was Good, effective play by Neath. Moon and Williams, how often have they worked together this afternoon? And so too, Scott Quinnell and Yian Evans with a scorching burst in the line. And Evans scores his second try this afternoon, his sixth of the season. What a brilliant break that was by the Welsh captain. Coming in at such pace, it was the back row who worked together, Williams and Quinnell. Moon just behind, Ewan Jones in support. Now watch Evans here. Bang, at pace, and you don't catch the Welsh swinger from there. Full of zest, full of his appetite for the game, and running round Chris Bridges. Lovely try. And Finetli lead by 25 points to 10, with a conversion to come. And this is Colin Leite in battle with Proctor. Taken up by Steve Williams, but he can't keep control, and Colin Stevens has got a free run to the line here. The Finetli and Wales outside half will score, and that is Finetli's fifth try of the afternoon, and it stretches their lead to 31 points to 10. It was a scramble for the loose ball. Steve Williams lost possession, and that's Colin Stevens with 40 metres to sprint. Rupert Moon inside, pumping his arms to keep up with the outside half, but he knows that the number 10 is going to make it, and not even the covering tackle of Carwin Young can stop him from scoring. Colin Stevens. he won't want to remember that one, but uh, a 
seconds are ticking away here and Steve Bowling knows that his former club have done enough here to quell the Neath challenge and Finetli have made it three wins now this season over Neath two in the league and one in the cup an emphatic win by 31 points to 10 the Neath affair came to an end yesterday in the only way possible four minutes gone in this match and uh, no points on the board as yet as uh, Phil Davis takes it on for Finetli back now with Rupert Moon and Yian Evans is calling for it back with uh, Gary Jones on to Lawrence Delaney and that was a good tackle by Keith Orrell on Delaney Moon now on that narrow side and Emir Lewis it is has scored Emir Lewis with the short pass from his scrum half Colin Stevens no number on his back Nigel Davis and Bouvier. Bouvier slicing through, looks back to Stevens. Stevens might well score here. Half scragged. In fact, he was scragged by Westwood. And that looked very promising indeed for a Colin Stevens try. David Fox for Flanetli up to Newport's goal line. And Flanetli have really been pressing in these last five or ten minutes. Moon with a little run on the narrow side, and Yian Evans has scored. Evans to make it eight points to nil for Finetli. Newport's backs lined up steeply here. Nigel Callard. And McGorkey. McGorkey with uh, a dummy, and he's clean through. Sean McGorkey, this Scottish-born centre. Phil Davis. So many times we've seen Finetli's forwards barging through, and there's another one. That is Gary Jones playing in the second row. 12-6 for Netley lead at half-time. Colin Stevens with the restart, and that's hanging nicely. That goes Mosley. Can't take it, though. Emmy Lewis does, up to his 10-metre line. And the ball's gone out to the three-quarters. This is now Neil Bouvier. Bouvier past uh, Sean McGorkey. Bouvier with a lot of speed. Looks for support inside. It was Julian Williams, the number eight, who was there. The ball has gone to ground. The referee's allowing play to go on. Now Rupert Moon, but now he calls a halt to it. The crowd was shouting because of number five, Kevin Mosley, and that is unforgivable stamping. Newport through Paul Turner. Turner having to cut back inside. McGorkey tackled heavily by... Gary Jones and Finetli spoiling all these Newport tactics. Richard Jones, Newport's uh, fullback, having to go back. Yian Evans up there quickly. Ricky Evans on to Colin Stevens. Stevens a jink inside, and the outside half has scored a very good try for Finetli. Finetli increased their lead to 16 points to six. Paul Turner, what can he conjure from here? The long pass out to Oral. And uh, Turner is finding himself going backwards a little here. Richard Jones, and that's uh, Glenn George standing, virtually standing still. A bit of a pile-up, and the crowd again has noticed something on that uh, narrow side. The referee is on this side. Now watch number two. There he is. That's Ian Jones, the Newport hooker. In he goes, thump with his boots. That, as I've said before, is unforgivable. And now watch number five. That's Kevin Mosley. Now you just have to question the mentality of Welsh rugby players. Turner along the three-quarter line. That's Alan Harris not getting very far. Oral trying to weave a way through. Scragged down by Ricky Jones, uh, Ricky Evans, I should say. And a penalty for holding on to the ball. And it's going to be Lawrence Delaney the old campaigner, what a great servant he is to this Flanetli side. Turner with a chance to bring Newport to within four points. Successful with the penalty, and it's 16-12. That Flanetli lead. Turner with the up and under. He wants his forwards to get there. But Rupert Moon has taken the catch, and that's beautifully done. On to Emma Lewis. Emma Lewis with a sprint to Hugh Williams and Yian Evans. Can Evans go all the way? Outside to Emery Lewis. Lewis can't hold the pass. What lovely play that was by Finetli as Turner just boots the ball into touch. 
Emma Lewis with a burst of pace. Hugh Williams with the pass outside. Didn't look for Evans, but that was great play by Tanetli. And this pass to Lewis just going to ground. Real, and it's uh, just a half an hour gone in this match and that's Scott Quinnell with the break for the line out Lynn Jones outside him Lynn Jones takes the pass now looks left and finds Ricky Evans and uh, Jones with the return pass and this is Phil Davis Phil Davis will go all the way here what a magnificent try that was by Finetley from the line out deep inside their own 22 and great forward play by the Scarlets Lynn Jones played his part after Quinnell Davis looks outside finds he has no support and that's Martin Jones missing the tackle Kerry Jonathan can't stop him and 18 stones worth of Scarlet forward goes over for the try that short line out again and uh, not too conclusive Dibble picks it up and Hewish and Jonathan and David Phillips well, he's managed to get away from two or three of his tacklers, but can't get that extra pass out. Now Hewish with Jackass outside him. Hewish with a little dummy, and Hewish, the Pontypool captain, scores. Really out of nothing, but it was a very good try by the captain. Nine all at half-time here at Pontypool Park. Phillips with the restart, and that's hanging nicely, but it's taken by Gary Jones. A comfortable catch as well. Nice knitted work that was by Finetli. Yian Evans with a little chase and a mix-up in defence by Pontypool. And that is Yian Evans, I can assure you, despite the floodlight. Yian Evans scores Finetli's second try. Cornell, such a strong man. He really loves taking the ball and taking it on he likes the confrontation so too gary jones and look at those scarlet shirts and look at the momentum over the goal line and the referee's arm goes up for the try on the pool players not too happy about it mr bailey calling the players up there is a try and it has been awarded now let's see who scored it well 